Hello and welcome to lecture 5 of the preliminaries unit in Phys 1104. And this one is going to be all about estimation. We're going to look at a quick example of an order of magnitude estimate. So let's estimate something that's kind of difficult to estimate. The volume of water in Sydney Harbour. And I mean Sydney, Nova Scotia, not the more famous Sydney Harbour in Australia. And I'll start off by saying I haven't a clue. I, I don't even know what order of magnitude it is. But that's all we want. We want the order of magnitude. And this is an example of something that you'll sometimes see called a Fermi problem, where the idea is to just use ideas of orders of magnitude to estimate something, where you don't know how to estimate the thing you want or how to guess it, but you could estimate some things that go into calculating it with perhaps more reliability and then make an approximate calculation. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start off by saying we have to build a model of the thing we're estimating. And so my model is going to be that I think the harbor has some length and it has some typical width w and it has some depth and i'm going to model the volume of it as nothing more than the length times the width times the depth now that's a pretty simple model because it's basically saying the harbor is a box and it certainly is not shaped like a box but if all we care about is the order of magnitude then the details of the shape aren't going to make much difference and so while we may not know how to guess the volume of water, I think we can come up with at least rough estimates of each of these. I'm going to start with the width, because I think that's the easiest one. If you picture yourself standing on the boardwalk in Sydney looking across at Westmount and think about that distance, well, it's certainly longer than a football field, which would be about a hundred meters. And again, if you're in South Bar, maybe looking across at North Sydney, it's going to be farther. How far? Well, again, it's certainly much bigger than a hundred meters. So is it a kilometer? Is it 10 kilometers? I really doubt it's more than meters. I really doubt it's more than 10 kilometers. Well, a useful thing to know is that if you are just standing on flat ground like the prairies or on the ocean and looking at the horizon, the horizon is more or less five kilometers away. And North Sydney is not off on the distant horizon when you're standing over on this side of the harbor. So it's certainly less than five kilometers. And so I'm going to go with this one kilometer estimate. Okay, so a thousand meters. I'm going to work entirely in meters to make things easy. Now, the length. Well, that's not so hard to estimate because you've probably driven from Sydney River to New Waterford at some point. And in good traffic, that might take you, oh, I don't know, half an hour, maybe 25 minutes. And on average, you're going to be going about 50 kilometers an hour most of the way. And so that length has to be something like 20 kilometers. Okay, so... 2 times 10 to the 4 meters. And some purists about Fermi problems would say, you have no idea about that 2. Drop the 2. Call it a 1 times 10 to the 4 meters. I actually am somewhat confident in that 2, so I'm going to keep it. Although it really doesn't matter, because I'm not at all confident about this 1 kilometer. The depth. The depth maybe is a little harder, right? Because you can't really see where the bottom is. Well, you know, it's certainly not one meter. Is it 10 meters? Is it 100 meters? I really doubt it's a kilometer. Well, here's my reasoning. Big ships come in here, but they've had to dredge the harbor to let big ships come in. If the typical depth was 100 meters, I don't think they'd have to do much dredging. So I'm going to guess that the typical depth is more like 10 meters. And so now I'm ready to do my estimation. I can just say that my volume is about 10 meters times 10 to the 3 meters times 
2 times 10 to the 4 meters. And so that's 2, 10 to the 1, 4, 8, 2 times 10 to the 8 meters cubed is my estimate for the volume of water in Sydney Harbour. Whenever you calculate any number, you should really stop and think about whether you believe it. So if you're calculating a speed, once you've got it, you should maybe compare it with things you know, like walking speed and speed of things on the highway and things like that. So it would be useful to compare this with something. Now, I don't really have much idea of volumes of harbor, but it's easy to look it up, right? Wikipedia, which must be right, well, this is something simple, so it's probably pretty trustworthy, uh, says that the volume volume of Sydney Harbour in Australia is about 562 million cubic meters, or in other words, 5.62 times 10 to the 8 cubic meters. And so the fact that my estimate for the size of the harbour of Sydney, Nova Scotia, and the size of another big harbour, the size of the Sydney, Australia harbour, are of the same order of magnitude, gives me some confidence that my estimate here at least is in the right order of magnitude. This too, who knows? And this is an interesting question. How many sig figs does my estimate have? Well, it might be tempting to say one because I've written down one digit, but in fact, I really don't know that digit. In fact, it's possible I've made a few overestimates and maybe this is more like nine times 10 to the seven, or you know, it could be significantly bigger. So I'm gonna say this actually has zero sig figs. All it is is an order of magnitude estimate and we don't trust this two in any way at all.